Hello everybody. So today we have here a Japanese Fender Stratocaster. This is one of the crafted in Japan models and it's from 1999. Now I don't know if you can see it in the light but the body is actually a polyurethane finish that has checked quite significantly. If you know anything about guitars, you'd know that's actually a good thing because it means that the finish has dried out so thoroughly that it is crystallized and checked and allows for a little bit more free resonance of the guitar. The vibrations can come through the wood easier if you believe that sort of thing. Some people don't. You can see here it's a maple neck and it's a Japanese 50s replica uh, Stratocaster, so the the v frets are vintage style frets, so a little bit smaller and lower, and the radius of the fretboard is seven and a quarter, and the profile of the neck is a rather substantial um, large C shape, not quite the baseball bat U shape. It's not that. It's not the '50s Tele U shape. It's it's more of the large V, I suppose, the boat neck. Um, very comfortable, if you ask me. Slightly more substantial, and uh, but not excessive. Not like a Gibson Les Paul. Not a not a boat or not a U neck. Uh, the tuners are all original Cluson style vintage tuners, and the. Most parts on, on this guitar are original. The neck, the tuners, the pick guard, the body. Most of this hardware is original. It does have an American bridge on it. So it's got American bridge and American saddles. It has a full size trim block, of course. And it has uh, raw vintage, true vintage springs. The diameter of the springs are a little bit larger and they're a little bit softer, hence you need four springs. And um, it gives the tone a little bit larger sound, a little bit more bass, a little bit more treble. So the selection is as is typical for an American uh, standard Stratocaster today. It's been rewired with a five-way switch. So in the front in-between settings, both pickups are wired to the front tone pot and in the rear in between settings the front and rear pickups are wired to the tone pot. The bridge pickup is wired solely to the rear tone pot and the front two pickups are both wired to the front pickup or front tone pot. Uh, pretty standard wiring these days. All three pots are 250k pots. The front two pickups are American 5762 pickups. They're very, very sweet, uh, bell-like, kind of the, the stereotypical adjectives for uh, Stratocaster pickups. And they're lower output, so I believe they're both 5.7 output, but these are actually a little bit, they're, they're listed if you go on Fender's site as uh, 5.7 I believe it is 5.8 but these are both a little hot they both actually are about uh, between 5.8 and 6 so a little bit higher up but, but still low on the standard spectrum the rear tone of uh, the rear pickup is a uh, Fender Tex-Mex pickup so it's higher around 7.2 if I remember correctly um, it's an alder body of course, as you would expect. The bridge plate has Fender stamped into it, which is quite nice. Um, yeah. Oh, it, it has underneath this bridge, the vintage style trim is actually two mounts for a two point trim. And you can see back here where there is a cutout and a plate for a battery. I suppose when this guitar was original in 1999, it came with a two-point trim and active electronics. Uh, the original owner 
must have played the hell out of it because, you know, the relicking on it is all original. And this is polyurethane. It doesn't tend to relic easily. And so it's all actual, real relicking. And, you know, the checking on the finish is all natural from play and wear. And the original owner must have swapped out the, the trim for the six-point trim. So it's wonderful. It has the vintage feel. But don't be surprised when you see the two-point trim inserts and the, the battery pocket. So yeah, I believe that's about all for this guitar. I guess the last thing to note is that the neck has been sanded. So it's polyurethane neck as well, which most people know it's very sticky to play. And this has been sanded down to the wood and oiled, or just played a lot. So it uh, is very smooth and very comfortable to play. So this is a very excellent version of a maple board Japanese crafted in Japan Fender Stratocaster. I'm selling it for a reasonable price because of the fact that it does have American Fender pickups in it. It has an American trim piece. And the three tone pots I forgot to mention are all technically vintage. They're stamped to 1989, despite this is a 1999 guitar. So you get arguably vintage pots in this that work perfectly. So the guitar sounds absolutely wonderful. And if you're interested in it, or another of this style guitar, I have a few of them for sale, then please follow the links below. This is available on Reverb.com and eBay. And um, I've talked long enough. Now for some tones. So have a good day. Stay safe. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.